Alright. So I've got empowered auto attack. Look at me gliding around! <laughs> Look at me, dude. He doesn't even take steps. I'm Superman. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so majestic. I have to close stream or I lag? Alright, man. I'm still gliding. Alright, I finally made contact with the Earth. We we have touchdown, guys. Tarek is now Earthbound. He is walking like any other man. Okay, we should probably read this stuff. Starlight's touch. That's my heal. Spins all charges. I just get charges passively. Bastion, there's my stun. Dazzle, ready to beam of starlight. Stuns the- oh no, that's my stun. Okay, Bastion is what links us. Alright, we're just... We're gonna start... I don't even know what to start, dude. Maybe I won't start anything. Okay. Oh, they have a Tark as well, I just realized. This is light Tark versus dark Tark. In our souls. Oh, he's preaching to me, dude. I'm not gonna take that. I'm not gonna let some dark skinned Tarek lecture me like that. <laughs> How do I lecture back? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna. I guess I should level ability. Eventually. Alright, we both got stuns now. And we both missed. And we both missed. Okay. Alright. 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 Stay on him. Stay on him. There we go. First blood, baby. First blood. Alright. We got this. Yo, 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 yo. God, it, okay, it's actually kind of hard to hit. It's a little hard to hit. One second. I just need to get the timing down. I don't think it'll be that hard to hit once we get the timing down. I do like how it's towards the cursor. So we can do like... There's my heal. The stars oh, this is an AoE heal, so I've got two AoE heals. What this update did, dude, since you can, like, bastion an ally and use your spells, he's got essentially the same kit, except for his alt. He's just twice as useful. I don't know. I can't tell if he's good or not yet. This world's fragile beauty must be preserved. Starlight's touch. And this just passively gains stacks. Alright. Oh, got them both, baby. Got them both. Alright. Just like the old Tark, the heal feels like it does absolutely nothing. Alright. I have seen the light too clearly to ever fear the dark. I like the passive the passive uh Charge, charging up of his Q. So you can't just go full Soraka mode and use it as soon as it's done because it's going to feel like it does nothing. But at six, at three charges, it does 60 plus 14. It's not terrible, I guess. 
should always be on Our ADC says he's lagging, so which one of these abilities makes our ADC less shit? Because that's what I think that's what the the next support that comes out does. That's what he needs to do. Honestly, that would probably be my favorite champion. If a champion came out and he had the ability, like he had a move called silence, and instead of like applying silence, it literally made it so your ADC couldn't talk. Like it took away their chat privileges. That'd be the best support. Okay, so I'm going to max. I don't know what I'm supposed to max, dude. Passive armor. 3% of passive armor. Pretty good. Making your ADC tank here. Stun duration. Wow, this this increases the stun duration by a tenth of a second. <laughs> That's grasping, dude. I don't think I'm going to. What's that? I'll just max the healing. Fuck it. Get up in there, man. Ah, get him. We double dicked him. Okay, do these damages stack though? That's what I need to know. Does the damage stack? Like if because we hit him with both dazzles there, does that stack? I feel like Tarek and Lucian could be a good lane if you're mic'd up and you have a bit of synergy. Because uh you know, you can activate it and then have Lucian dash up really fast, and it's going to be really hard for them to dodge that. Okay, you can still self-cast heal, that's good. These animations, dude. I like his personality a lot more now. I I know that that's like totally irrelevant to how he is as a champion, gameplay wise. But like, he's more fun to play as now, just personality wise. The effects do not stack. I knew the effects didn't. Like, you you want to stun him, stun him for like two point two six seconds, but I didn't know if the damage did. I don't see where it even says that, that they don't stack. Hey man, thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the Solari Slut. Let's start going aggro. We've got a, we've got a lead. That's all right, man. Honestly, I should have should have exhausted Tristana at some point, but like I was pretty sure, like since we were fighting in a gigantic wave, he was gonna die anyways. So we'll save it. It looks so weird to see Aoki like play like this. This shows that I'm playing as Tarek, cause I fucking never play as Tarek, man. I played as Tarek once in my life, twice now. Old Tarek, less handsome Tarek. He's like a pastiche of what he, of what like the community always portrayed him as, <laughs> like this Fabio figure now. Just as the mountain is eternal, so is hope. The mountain of mysteries are no longer. All right, we got our ult now. We're invincible. We got the five man Kalo. Let's. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! 
Fuck! <laughs> I, for some reason, I thought that it would pull up a range indicator. I don't know why. Ah! I can't believe I just did that. I can bastion someone else. It's instant too, wow. Seems strong. Alright. This is my range indicator. He actually has a tiara on the pink skin. The long ass cooldown, dude. That is a long fucking cooldown. Truly see the stars. I climbed. Okay, it is a little harder to hit than I imagined it being. I think it's gonna be a lot easier when you're chasing someone. Because you know exactly what direction they're gonna be running. Like watch this chase let's chase this Tristana. It's a lot easier to hit them. I really wanted to flash auto. Oh sad days. Sad days. <laughs> uh oh, LeBlanc's coming down. LeBlanc. Oh, nope. Heisendong got him. Alright, so we're gonna stack armor. Because. It's bonus AP with armor, if I'm not mistaken. Not AP, but bonus stats. Somewhere. I believe that's how it works. I stay Swifties. Sometimes life works out. The mountain reveals the harshest truth. What's up, Scatasala? Welcome to the stream, man. So many gems everywhere, dude. It's almost like it's outrageous. Passive W and E skill off his armor. Okay. <laughs> we still got all so She lived, man. Ah, uh, don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. If it still feels like his mana costs are really, really high. The best weapons are beautiful. <laughs> Not so good. I do foresee his stun being good in that, like. Sometimes I feel like it's going to shake out that it's actually good that it's delayed now. Because you can stun them. Like, for instance, if you get CC'd, that's when the enemy burst usually comes, right? You get hit by the cocoon, and then Elise uses her whole burst. But if you know the cocoon's coming, throw the delayed stun out, and she's going to be stunned while you're stunned. So I think that that could, like, delay you taking a lot of burst. Maybe. We'll see what's up. It is going to be less effective that you can obviously miss it now, and it's going to be less effective, like, 
in stopping assassins like Zed. That's what Tarek really excelled at, is by assassin. Targeted stun. <laughs> I have seen the light too clearly to ever fear the darkness. So, I think it's safe to say we got the superior echo. Bummer. I will avenge you. I will avenge you. I will avenge you. No! 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 Why? Fuck. I can't wait till I don't have to see Echo banned or played in all my games. Alright, we're gonna try out the we're gonna try the tar roam ways. It worked! We got the turret! Tarek's so good at roaming! Oh wow, dude, this isn't just a shield. This isn't a static shield. This is an this 8% of their maximum health shield. That's pretty good. I realized there was a percent health. So. I'm invulnerable, suckers! <laughs> no! Nope. Nope. Fuck! An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Damn, he lasted a lot longer than I wanted him to. Oh wow, dude. His next basic attacks deal like 70, 71 bonus, 70 bonus magic. Use his spells cooldowns. Attack in quick succession, so you get a faster attack rate. You need to be... Need to be, um... Uh, psych, like, putting passives between your spells. There's not even a cooldown on this. That's actually pretty. That's actually sick. Just seeing how fast the uh, the passive attacks come out. There's a spell. Bop, bop. As opposed to just bop, bop. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, this champs, I mean, it seems like they gave him a much more interesting kit. I don't think that anyone's arguing that. Is it OP? I think that's to be seen, yet to be seen. But his kit is more interesting than it used to be.
I think everyone agrees on that. You know, I hate to see another invulnerability all introduced into the game, because I feel like that's a really lazy design choice, but... That's what we got, what we got. Love is simply beauty crystal. One point five seconds stun. Point five seconds stun. It is a fairly long stun. For comparison, Leona's is one point two five seconds. Her Q. I do foresee some frustrating moments where you're trying to stun off of Lucian, for instance, and he like dashes away so you miss the stun. So I don't know how the synergy is going to go in solo queue. But... Okay, I'm putting, putting my shit back on my boy press. Putting it back on the ADC. Sorry, Heisey Dong. Heisey Ding Dong. Hey, thank you for the follow, man. Welcome to the Solari Sluts. Dude, every every 14 seconds I can put... Yeah, I guess that shield doesn't look that... 8% of maximum health. Trying to find his most spammable taunt. Because that's what's most important. Oh, I think it's that one. That one right there. That's it. That's the money shot. Right there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm just going to lane. Can you guys just imagine seeing this, like, scooting down your lane while you're losing lane? Because that's all that taunts are in the game for. They're to enrage your enemy. Make them tilt. Can you see that? He looks like a fucking homunculus. It's okay if you're Jesus. What is this? <laughs> you know what they say about mm, don't mind me, just going back to shop. Alright, alright, I'm back guys. Sorry, sorry I got, got sidetracked a little there. Each life oh, that's, that's easily my favorite part of the skin. I wish he did that always, or at least like when he was ulted, can you imagine? It's like soaring majestically. My heart is filled with starlight. I give it freely to all. My heart is filled with starlight, he says. I don't know if that's what your heart's supposed to be filled with, Tarek. You might really get that checked out, dude. Uh-oh. Okay, so when we're all clumped together, Tarek, Tarek all is actually mad fucking good. You have to have a bit of like... I don't know, prediction, I guess. When to best use it to cancel out most of their burst. It seems fun, though. It seems really fun. Much more fun and, like, playable than the old Tar, at least. Memories.
days. Now this is probably not the most efficient build, but let me see how much, like for instance, a frozen heart gives us in bonus. 40 extra damage on the stun, <clears throat> extra armor, not actually a huge amount. Aoki baited us, Ah, oh, come on man, no mercy. Be kind. I'm gonna wait for my face of the mountain. Truth is worth fighting for, but beauty is worth dying for. Hashtag blame the support. I want to see what the five man invulnerability ult looks like. Not visually, but just like bringing it into a team fight. Why is it always the ugly? Stay near the handsome man, guys. Where are they on Baron? They're on fucking Baron. They're on Baron. Go get him. Go get him, Elise. Go get him. Get in there. Nope, they're not. Let's do it. We have a really fast fair on the It's like we get some AoE stuns. I mean, heals. Oh, thank God. Oh god, that was not the ult we wanted. I thought it- I didn't know it was just fucking Tarek coming in. <laughs> Tarek walked in and we blew our whole ult. I blew, I blew the ult. Hey, what's up, Mr. Doji? Mr. Doge. Welcome to the stream. Okay, well, that wasn't the Tarek ult I wanted to see. I fucked up. I really assumed it was just all five of them coming around the bin. It is kind of cool that I can heal Elise from over here. Like, oh. Okay. oh, oh, Echo just Echo lagged out. They're DDoSing us, guys. They're trying to keep Tark down. I just don't think that this passive scaling with armor is enough to like convince me to not build any AP at all. Just as the mountain is eternal, so is hope. Kind of forsaking Lucian. Sorry, Lucian. Oh, it gets down to 91 seconds at level two. That's not I bad at all. I am no longer the man I once was. They're all saying I I had a bad all. They're all saying to report me, man. I was the answer. Why are we? Four pre-mades and not to quad report. God damn it. My own viewers are forsaking me. I'm coming, I'm coming. We can turn. We can turn. We probably can't, but I wanna I wanna stress test this champion. You got it, you got it, buddy. You got it. Oh, what's going on? Get in there, man. That was a bit better of an ult. That was 1% better ult.
Give him the Tarek walk. Give him the gym walk, baby. We gym walked on their asses. All right, so in conclu I'm, I'm going to make a video that actually like has my thoughts on where he stands in the meta, if he's worth a ban, how good he actually is as a champion. I got a chest. You play with Tarek, you get a chest. Know what I mean? But anyways, like I said, I'm going to make a video that has my actual thoughts on the champion. But my thoughts on just ha finally getting my hands on him, he's fun. And his kit is a lot more interesting than what it used to be. Uh, you know, which was basically a point-and-click stun bot and occasionally you know, pressing your other buttons and like kind of healing people. He actually feels like he has gameplay. So, like I said, there will be a video coming up. I might just upload this gameplay because it's, it's fun. It's trying out Tark for the first time. But I am going to uh, end the stream on that one, guys. Thanks for joining me. Hope to, feel you, hope to see you guys tomorrow. God bless. Peace.